It's a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, then we have Mr. Andreas Rochel, owner, manager, CEO of Kamya Agri-Trade, a Kamya eco-farming enterprise in Cambodian Spices and Fruit Coal Limited. Uh, the Cambodian Pepper and Spices Federation, in collaboration with Feed the Future Cambodia Harvest Team, recently launched export mission to the Middle East and North Africa, a new digital export program aiming to provide significant assistance and expertise to Cambodian businesses and establish exports to the Middle East and North African MENA region. So welcome, Mr. Andreas. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to participate. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Uh, perfect. So we'll start with the Natalie and uh, we'll start the questions now. Uh, Natalie, what is the current global and regional outlook on snacking after the lockdown and now in the post-pandemic era? Hi there. Um, I, I would say for, for us, um, sort of generally as people have been sent, spending more time at home and, and working from home and socialising from home as opposed to sort of being out of the house, when it comes to snacking, um, that sort of snacking has increased and in some cases, I, we were discussing it um, with the team actually, in some cases it's replaced sort of meals um, as, as more people are sort of in and out of um, the house, they're sort of grazing slowly as opposed to sitting down and having three meals, your breakfast before you run out, your lunch at lunchtime and then your dinner when you get home and you're exhausted after your day at work most people are sort of coming in and grazing throughout the day and sort of slowly snacking but thinking about things in a sort of more healthy manner right of course it's because of the whole um, that you really need to look look at your health etc and from an e-commerce perspective how is the demand increased in the middle east um, after what you see well, we see the demand increasing hugely. So people are looking for snacking categories, whether it's for kids or whether for, um, you know, people on the go or whether it's for families or events. They want good, healthy snacks. So we see good increase in sort of things with protein in it, um, things with pulses, so reusing, reusing vegetables and that kind of thing. Um, natural, organic, vegan um, has, been, has been quite interesting at the moment, but a lot of people are asking for healthy snacks. And which healthy snacks do you see that are trending? So let's start with uh, Andreas, and then we go to Nashi. What we see uh, in, here in uh, in our region, uh, our regions, uh, I regional place where I come from, but uh, also in uh, in Southeast Asia, in, uh, in uh, Cambodia, where we come from. What we see also, I mean, basically it reflects us. I mean, what Natalie, Natalie, Natalie mentioned uh, already, the trend uh, towards more healthy um, uh, in types of snacks, healthy ingredients in the snacks, and uh, we see also a lot uh, of demand and growing demand, in particular for. Uh, not, uh, not the right meat, uh, which uh, have been in demand and uh, here in the, in the region already for a long time. But uh, it's really creating or getting uh, the demands of I mean, uh, what we receive as a supplier um, and uh, what we uh, what we what we notice uh, as a producer is really very much going into this healthy snack uh, direction, organic uh, and uh, indeed also vegetarian and uh, vegan snacks. Uh, yeah. And uh, any ingredients in particular that you see uh, is trending, Ms. Andrea? What we see a lot also, I mean, is indeed also, I mean, nuts. Okay, I mean, uh, Cambodia is a country where we have a lot of uh, um, cashew nuts, uh, and uh, the demand for that uh, is uh, is increasing. Not only for the kernels, uh, but uh, also for broken pieces, which become an ingredient in a lot uh, of these healthy energy protein bars. Uh, that stuff was, I mean, uh, where we see. Uh, the demand for our products rising. Thanks. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so back to you, uh, Natalie. Um, where do you where do you improve? Uh, what are, according to you, what are the ingredients that are trending uh, in snacks currently? So sorry, ingredients for snacks. Yeah, the ingredients that are like superfoods. What sort of superfoods are uh, which ingredients exactly are trending for snacks? 
So it's been quite broad, to be perfectly honest. Anything that's a superfood is wanted. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's from cereal bars um, to, you know, pulp and to put it into your shake and, you know, like a, st a spoonful of your... Um, sorry of your of your pulped vegetable into your shake or into your yogurt or whatever it is in the morning like a sprinkle with your nuts and your yogurt that kind of thing's going it's it's rife at the minute um so any kind of sort of protein um any superfood uh, gluten-free product um sort of with no added sugar that contains naturally occurring sugars is is huge everything plant-based um is is just we're seeing the massive trend for plant-based products at the minute um it's it's quite quite interesting actually to see in the last sort of 12 months that there's been such a um, increase. And uh, where do you tend to import these products from? Like, uh, and how important is certification when you make your decision? So certification is extremely important. Um, we don't import anything without it. Um, it's it, obviously to bring it into the region and then to, to certify to our customer that our products are, you know, um, they do what they say on the tin, should we say. Um, so that's extremely important. Um, we, we bring product in from, well, we bring products in from all over the world, but specifically Denmark, France, UK, um, especially for these sort of healthy, healthy snacks. Uh, wonderful. And uh, also I have this question uh, even before now, it's not only about the consumer who wants organic products, it's also about the ethical, sustainable consumer. So would you like to elaborate on that? Sorry, I didn't hear that very well. What did you, could you repeat that? It's uh, also about the ethical and sustainable consumer. So I think Andreas also you have a point. <laughs> Oh, yes, I mean, I can uh, immediately also talk from our own uh, experience here. Yeah, our clients. Is it possible, sorry, is it possible actually to mute uh, while sure. speaking? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's also from our side, also, I mean, uh, what we see, also, I mean, in particular for the nuts, also, I mean, uh, that uh, we supply, also, I mean, we have more uh, requests uh, and questions, also, I mean, uh, whether our products are also not only organic uh, certified, uh, which uh, of course, uh, they uh, they are, uh, but uh, getting other certifications in, like in particular for fair trade, uh, that seems something also, I mean, uh, where uh, people buy us, uh, also, I mean, are more conscious, and uh, which seems also, I mean, that uh, for the end consumers, also, I mean, it's obviously, obviously becoming uh, also an, uh, a point, also, I mean, uh, for them to choose. Uh. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that, that, uh fair trade as well as sustainable packaging these things yeah i mean uh, for our uh, i mean uh, end products uh, we we struggle a lot uh, actually to find uh, really uh, i mean uh, good uh, packaging material that are uh, environmentally friendly and uh, that I think also I mean is still something also I mean uh, where research or companies also I mean who supply these things uh, could have a I mean uh, would find a big uh, big market is not only also, I mean uh, in uh, Southeast Asia in uh, Cambodia where we struggle to find anything I mean the, in the region uh, even uh, from uh, what we import partially as packaging material from uh, from Europe from European suppliers very difficult to find uh, really I mean, very good, uh, in a sense, uh, packaging material where we would, I mean, really nicely, consciously say, I mean, okay, that is made from a uh, large uh, part of recycled material uh, that is uh, um, compostable. Uh, not yet, not yet there, I think. Uh, not yet reached that stage, yeah, for sure. I think there should be more suppliers of such uh, packaging, for sure. And Natalie, what is your opinion? Absolutely, 100% agree. So this region, um, sustainability has sort of hit last year, I should say. It's been a bit, we were a bit slow to catch up, um, but it's quite a big part of, of everyone's day and people are recycling and, you know, making sure that they are being more um, friendly to the environment, should we say. So when it comes to packaging, anything that is sustainable or we've using a, a recycled product or something that's biodegradable, um, they, they're all on it. They're, it's very trendy, should I say. For a lot of our consumers here and a lot of our consumers tend to be women um so yeah they're, they're shopping online and in the stores but a lot of free time so this is something that's quite uh, it's trending um from a, a trendy standpoint and also from an environmental standpoint 
perfect. And also, I wanted to ask you the countries uh, you import your products from. So we import from, um, I think I touched on it before, Denmark, France, um, the UK. We actually import from all over the world throughout categories when it comes to snacking and sort of organic, um, healthy snacking. Denmark, UK, France are, are the three bigger ones. Wonderful. And now we have the final question from my side before we take one audience question. Uh, so this is, uh, what is the future of healthy snacks abroad, like globally and in the region? And we'll start with Mr. Andrea. Thanks, sir. I think also, I mean, uh, this trend uh, where we've seen this acceleration uh, during uh, the pandemic uh, in the last one and a half years will, will definitely continue. So this, uh, I mean, uh, really rapidly and strongly increasing demand for healthy snacks uh, and uh, subsequently for the ingredients uh, to it uh, from a different supplier is going to continue and uh, we'll see big uh, growth rates, uh, growth rates there. Uh, and uh, it's not only, uh, I think Natalie had mentioned uh, this uh, also already, it's not only the organic uh, um, uh, market uh, the health uh, health food uh, a lot does I mean uh, I mean uh, will go um, uh, into the uh, um, uh, vegan uh, vegetarian uh, veg vegetarian part of this uh, uh, of this of this sec sector I'm sure uh, that's what we see already in the demand for our for our products and uh, that's what we are promoting. Uh, also in the Cambodian and in, in the regional markets. And Nadi? Yeah, I totally uh, agree with Andrea, actually. Um, I th you know, plant-based vegan friendly products are on the up. I don't think it's going to slow down. I think a healthy snacking is, is going gonna, is gonna to be there for a good while. Um, as I've touched on before, obviously, a lot of people are at home. Agile working is something that it's, is being pushed all over the world in terms of you can work from home or anywhere you want to be, as opposed to having to be in your office. So having healthy snacks at home is a plus, you know, it's a must. Um, and I think people have a lot more time to think about what they're eating um, and, and sort of getting all your sort of healthy benefits in. Um, so yeah, I don't see it stopping. I see it full steam ahead. I think it's going to continue. So, uh, we just have a question uh, from the audience. Um, so how do you plan to create this awareness of for organic or natural food alternatives or healthy food alternatives? So Nashi, you can do that. Um, sure. So, it's awareness, it's marketing, so making sure you've got visibility everywhere. If we are going to be, you know, um, sharing important information with the customers, either we've got someone in the store um, speaking about the product or we've got something online, we're doing a banner or whatever it is on the website, but just making people aware, sharing all the information we have um, based on the products to sort of shout out about what the benefits are of these products, you know, where they've come from, um, how sustainable the packaging is, um, what's included in, included in the ingredients. So it's just about reaching out and, and connecting with people. Okay, yes, Andrea? Yeah, maybe also, I mean, I mean, just adding from our side, from our experience, also, I mean, it's basically, it's not even, also, I mean, that uh, we as a producer or supplier have to create this awareness stuff. Huh? It's really coming uh, from the from the customer customer side. Huh? It's not. I, I mean, I wouldn't say. I mean, we're only reacting to it, but uh, it provides an uh, opportunity for us also to well, develop new types of uh, new types of snacks uh, where we we see feedback uh, from uh, from customers. Also, I mean, uh, into certain tastes, uh, certain in ingredients. So. It's a very exciting uh, um, time at the moment. Uh, yeah. uh, great, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, it was a really profound, engaging, and insightful discussion. We discussed a lot about healthy snacking, certification, and of course, educating customers. A uh, big thank you to all our panelists who are live with us now and the audience for watching. Um, up next, our exhibitors will demonstrate their innovative organic and natural products. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Taft. Thanks. Bye.